Right guys, Mark Crossfield here. Let's talk a little bit about draw drivers. Lots of people talk to me about draw-based drivers, weights. This one, I've got the SF Tech here from Ping. This isn't a, a video about this driver. I'm just using this one with a heel-weighted bias. To give you an idea of how this can help you, not help you, overhelp you, or maybe it does nothing at all. Um, so like I said, this is, I've, I, I could have done this test with any driver. This isn't a driver thing about Ping. It's about heel-weighted draw bias drivers and what they do or not. Let's get stuck in. Right guys, I explained to you what I've done. I've collected some data already using GC2HMT and some real balls, which I can't do in our range because of the length, so I've done it up in the indoor section. Um, and what I did is I hit three shots using this SF Tech. Now this FX Tech, SF Tech ping driver has weight in the heel, which in theory, as you hit the ball, is going to help the club maybe increase the way it closes. So increase the way the club face is turning through the ball to maybe getting pulling a bit more left, not left of target per se, because that isn't going to work for it in a draw, that's going to still cut the ball or pull it, but get it maybe a bit more left of where you delivered it to stop the ball maybe going so far to the right. So lots of people are buying or thinking about or do use heel-based, draw-based drivers, any manufacturer, to try and maybe promote a draw or to calm down how far right a ball goes. Um, so I hit three shots, just with my standard swing, trying to hit a normal target, ignoring the weight of the club and just hitting the ball. And what happens when I hit these shots is they all tend to go into the left corner of the range. That club is definitely, for me, delivered more left of where it is if I don't have that heel base club. Again, that one's just turning off to the left. And I'll show you the real numbers as well um, in a second. So, then what I did is I hit three shots where I tried to hit the ball where I felt like the handle was forward of the head. So I can swing on a path, could be left, could be straight, but with my handle forwards, it's going to leave the face right of my path. So if the face is right of a path, then the ball was often going to curve subject to strike from left to the right. Might start a target subject to how far open to a path it is. So I stood there and I hit so a few shots where I had the handle forwards and tried to swing and the face was open to a path and I got X amount of shots, which we'll look at. Then what I did is I got a standard driver with standard weighting, same driver, and hit the same handle forward kind of clubs or shots that I could hit, as good as I could hit, to show you how much of an effect this does have, and then sometimes maybe how much of an effect it might not have. So let's look at the numbers and talk a little bit more about how draw bias drivers subject to how you swing, could be really helping you or possibly not doing anything at all. Let's check these numbers out. Right guys, draw-based drivers. Let's take a look. Uh, if we look at the numbers with the SF uh, Tech ping driver, so again, it could have been any weighted bias driver made as an SLDR that has the same kind of principles. Um, I'm hitting an average of 23 degree or 23 yards, 23.3 yards left. When I do my normal swing, where I've got the club releasing quite normally, that suggests that the club is being sped up with the closure of the face. Um, so the face is being encouraged to close a little faster than I normally would. Um, it's also possibly a little bit of gearing as well. So with the weight in the heel, me hitting middle to slightly toe, uh, it's gonna maybe gear a little bit more into on the club face as I, the ball's uh, CG and the head CG try to kind of marry a little bit of uh, impact, which might tilt that spin axis as well. So then SF Tech 2, this is now me hitting with my hands forward. Um, you can see I'm averaging 28 yards right. Um, I'm swinging uh, 3.5 to the left, so out to in, as you would know, and I've got the face six open to a path, to average, um, where's my data there, on flight 26, was it, I think I said? Yeah, tw no, 28 yards right of the target, ball curving left to right in the air. So that heel weight there is being counteracted by the fact that my handle is forwards. And that's quite obvious for me because this weight doesn't weigh very much. I can counteract this weight by pulling or dragging that handle through more. It's going to 
just literally kind of eradicate what that weight's doing to a certain extent because I've changed my release pattern with the handle forwards rather than the normal head catching up with the handle and almost overtaking my natural release. Um, then the standard cut swing, so I tried to play the last set of uh, three shots here, standard um, weight, so I moved the weight back into the middle, I actually used a G30 driver with the standard weight in the middle. Um, I swung four to the left and I had the face six open to the path, so again very similar numbers within 0.5 of a degree of club path of the heel weighted handle forward swing and the face almost exactly the same amount open to the path and my rightness was actually more 32 yards so it's saving me four yards of rightness next to nothing um, if you look at the grouping there you'll see the reds to the greens are grouping almost identically so you can see there i can make a heel dry heel bias draw biased driver draw too much for me subject to my normal release pattern on a golf shot but then if i'm somebody who just drags the handle forwards like i've done on the other two shots you can see it's making next to no difference four yards i mean four yards is if you actually had a machine producing this data i would argue it wouldn't move at all um, so draw bias clubs help you guys but they also can have no effect You've got to understand more why you need a draw bias club. You've got to understand more about how you're delivering the club. Are you twisting the club around the axis of the shaft, add loft and have a face open to the path? Are you simply delivering the handle forwards or have you got the handle higher which can open the face up as well to the path? Um, you've got to understand your delivery to understand if this draw or fade bias, because it would work equally on the fade bias subject to how I release the club. Um, if it's going to actually help you or not. Just thinking that you buy a draw driver and that helps you draw or straighten up your cut is not really true, which is why people aren't really lowering handicaps because the club's making very small effect on what's going on out there. You can override that like I have there. Very, very simple because the forces you're putting down through that shaft are far going to outweigh any weight that they put in the head. Obviously, they could put enough weight in it to help, but then the club probably wouldn't conform and would be hard to swing because uh, you certainly need a certain amount of club head speed if you want to get the distance as well. Interesting video there guys, post comments down below, hopefully that makes sense. Basically I'm saying they do work but they also do not. Most people I see for lessons deliver the handle way forwards which has the face open to a path and you could put any amount of weight in the heel of their club and it's not really going to do that much for them. They need to change the way to deliver the club, then moving the weight can make an effect. You'll see tour players with this club and others uh, slightly weighted. Um, I saw Justin Rose pitch the other day with it kind of way in one side. I think it was in the draw side. I can't remember. It might be in the fade. It's in one side. When you've got someone who's releasing the club in a certain way and quite consistently, you could manipulate that a little bit with uh, where that weight goes. That's the people it's really going to help. If I'm delivering the handle so far forwards and really dragging it through with force, that weight's going to do next to nothing. Thanks for watching. Post comments down below. Love to hear what you've got to say. Always interesting to hear your thoughts on such subjects. Have you got a draw driver and it's transformed your game or not? I'd love to hear. Speak to you soon. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also, thumbs up the video. Post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.